The new Morbius trailer is out. Now, Morbius, or his full supervillain title, Morbius the Living Vampire, is the second standalone movie where Sony are taking the Spider-Man villains and turning them into good guys. Now, judging by this trailer, they are keeping what's ideas on kind of inconspicuous, much like they did with the very first trailer for Venom. But seeing as this is Sony and how they don't like to take risks, I am almost certain that they are going to make him a good guy. And of course, the movie is going to be PG-13. Joker wasn't out when they planned this, so of course, again, they wouldn't want to take the risk. And I really don't have much to say about this trailer. The visual style looks slightly better than what we got in Venom. I like how the movie is dark and deprived of colour. It creates a nice and dark atmosphere. And Jared Leto, I can't say much for his character, but I do like the look he has as Morbius. When I heard Sony were making a PG-13 Morbius movie, I didn't think they would make him look like this. This looks like a monster that you would expect in an R-rated horror movie. But of course, this is just one little clip of him. His voice and mannerisms plays a big part in how we perceive his character, and whether he comes off as scary or not. Now with all of that out of the way, the big thing that you all want me to talk about is this part. Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? This movie pretty much confirms that Vulture takes place in the same universe as Tom Holland's Spider-Man, which also means that the MCU now takes place in the same universe as Venom. So yeah, when Marvel and Sony worked out a deal to continue sharing Spider-Man, Sony most likely proposed this and said, take it or leave it. And that did explain why the trailer said, from the studio that bought you Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home, because technically Sony distributed the movie, but they played no part in the creative process. They left that to Marvel. So I did find that a little sneaky, but this scene confirmed why they did. It. And to be honest, we all knew this is what they were gonna do when the two studios came to a consensus. So yeah, what do I think of this? Well, I personally don't care for the two standalone MCU Spider-Man movies. I know a lot of people do, but I just never got into them that much. So if they want to combine the two universes together, then yeah, I'm up for anything that will change the Marvel formula. And after all, Marvel made Vulture do this. I thought this was the anti-gravity gun. What? No, that's that one. So hopefully with this new collaboration, we might have a more balanced tone when it comes to these characters entering Holland's future Spider-Man movie. Or it will just be one big mess. Like I said, I don't really care about the Spider-Man movies in the MCU as they are very forgettable to me. So this will hopefully make their future a little more unpredictable. But what do you guys think? Do you like the idea that the MCU and the SCU are joining forces? Or do you think that it is just a terrible idea? Comment below and let me know. And feel free to donate just $1 a month on my Patreon. It supports the channel, allows me to do this for a living, and you will also gain access to my podcasts that you will only find on Patreon. That's it for another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch all of you next time. Take care.